After that attack, synagogues and churches across America are on high alert. Yeah, here in South Florida, people of all faiths now condemning Saturday's attack in New York, including a local congressman. CBS 12's Al Peffley joins us now from Palm Beach Gardens with that story, Al. Here at Havad of Palm Beach Gardens, they've already stepped up security, and Congressman Brian Mass says he encourages worshipers to be armed if they feel the need to do so. We know that there is hatred that exists in this world, and we know that we can stand together in the face of this hatred that exists in the world. Republican Congressman and Army veteran Brian Mass says if some members of the congregation want to bring a gun to their place of worship, he's okay with that. So you're saying worshipers should be armed? Yeah, absolutely. If you feel as though uh, you're threatened and, uh, and you want to be able to defend yourself, then you should take the time to become uh, tactically uh, proficient and trained. Mast spoke to leaders of Beach Gardens where police were very visible inside and outside. They paused to light a menorah and to express their outrage over the savage stabbing attack in New York Saturday night at a rabbi's home that left five people injured. We refuse to tolerate anti-Semitic attacks and we call upon our elected officials and the government to stand up and protect us. Heavy bleeding. I mean, multiple areas of this, please. They say for such a tragic attack to happen during Hanukkah makes it all the more disturbing. And they told us they have heard about a half dozen other anti-Semitic incidents in New York in the past few days. It's a reminder, they say, that Jewish people need to remain vigilant. Jews of the world stand united in condemning this evil. The dangerous trend is un-American and unacceptable. The rabbi told me he agrees with the idea of worshippers being armed, but he says it has to be the right people with the right level of training who've been pre-approved by an outside agency that deals with synagogue security. In Palm Beach Gardens, Al Peffley, CBS 12 News. President Donald Trump responding to the attack on Twitter, calling it horrific, and saying we must all come together to confront and eradicate this evil scourge of anti-Semitism.